what's on the horizon? Obviously, you know, we talked about four years ago that the, you know, you could barely even have IoT devices without knowing the full stack. Today I can buy a prototype board, get anything up and running, and literally I've done like five weekend projects with this thing. Uh, I love it, by the way. I'm, I'm a total, I'm a total fanboy. Uh, so, so thank you guys, but uh, not about me. Um, uh, what are you guys most excited about going forward in the, in the future? What's technology that's on the horizon for IoT specifically that really gets you excited? I am very excited about cellular IoT. Um, I think that the next generation LTE stuff that's designed for IoT applications, specifically Cat M1 and narrowband IoT, which is um, often referred to as CAT NB1. Um, there, there are parts of the LTE spec that have been recently added to target low power, low bandwidth applications. Um, uh, and narrowband in particular is very low power, very low bandwidth. Um, it opens up a lot of uh, use cases where um, you need a smaller, you know, it's, it's battery powered and you need to manage it with a small battery. Um, you're cost constrained because it's a lower cost system. Um, I'm really excited about those. The carriers have been doing really interesting things there. Um, we had done some research into low power wide area networking, LP WAN solutions, so Sigfox and LoRa, for instance. Um, and right now, we're kind of just keeping our eye on it. We're not yet convinced that those are going to take off. Um, and if they do, we'll be there. But if in the meantime, we're not going to. You're placing your bet on this. Right, we're placing our bet on next generation LTE. Um, and then. Uh, I'm also just generally excited for, we're seeing our customers transition to having a better understanding of the business reasons why you deliver an IoT product. Um, early days, it was a lot of sort of gimmicky consumer products that don't actually create a lot of value, a connected toothbrush, that kind of thing, right? And, and uh, these days, we see a lot more use cases where there's a clear value associated with delivering the products. Either it's helping you make more money, lose less money, or decrease your risk. Uh, and uh, and that you know make more money might be new revenue streams, uh, hardware as a service, or consumables reordering. You have some uh, commoditized market where somebody gets a recurring revenue model, takes them out of the, the trap of commoditization. Got it. Uh, cost reduction might be things like service and warranty. So a lot of for a lot of companies, service and warranty is a huge part of their cost. If they can reduce that by getting better information about when machines break. You know somebody turns it on uh, and they connect it, you know the warranty has started rather than them uh, you know, sending in the warranty card three years later when something breaks. And that's technically when the warranty starts. I don't right. want to tell you how many toothbrushes from Philips I've gone through. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, I just bought this six months ago. Uh, right. Anyways, story exactly. off film. Right. They, they love to, they'd love to know exactly when you actually When I it. turned it on. Okay. Uh, and, you know, reducing risk. So we have a lot of customers who's, uh, who are solving problems around insurance or uh, compliance with an EPA regulation where you have to track emissions out of a certain something or other and, and, uh, and you need to make sure that you're complying with the law. Um, those are the kind of use cases that we see our customers chasing right now and we're excited because they make sense. Like they're, there's business there, they will be successful, they will grow, um, and we're excited to see more of that in the industry. Cool. There's a lot of amazing IoT technology being developed and maybe some technology that's not so useful. Where do you guys think IoT adds the most value today? And what future technology is most exciting? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to take you into the world of hardware generation.